All right, what up, what up, people? What's poppin'? What's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? This is my first time doing a live joint on a Saturday night, man. A Saturday night. This is this is the first time, you know. I'm expecting no one to be watching this live. <laughs> I'm expecting no one to be watching this live. If you guys are in the chat room, you should not be in the chat room. Exactly. No black men allowed. Shouldn't I be out macking? Exactly. That's what I was about to ask y'all. Shouldn't y'all out be out? It's Saturday night. What are y'all doing up chilling on YouTube? You feel what I'm saying? You feel me? But, I, you know, I'm glad you guys are here. But, damn, shame on you guys for not being out. <laughs> uh, no, nah, I'm, I'm fucking with you guys. I'm fucking with you guys, man. Rob, you say you got work in the morning? Hilarious. So, anyway, today's show is brought to you by Jiggy-RiggyCo.com. This is where you can get these cool-ass hoodies. You see this one right here? It says, The Jig is Up. Okay. You guys can go to jiggy-riggyco.com to get your these uh, hoodies. You feel me? I'll have the link below this video, and uh, it's you know the the site is jiggy j i g g y dash riggy r i g g y co c o dot com. So who we got in the chat room? Got a lot of people, Darren Stevens, Zeus, Alexander, Nicholas, Kevin James, Rob, L. Hall, Hot, Hotmail for USA, 10 p.m., Like Squad in the building. But, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to take calls in a second, but I just wanted to talk about real quick, you know, the one thing that you can do, right, to you know, get women extremely attracted to you. Oh, Rob Cruz, you said you got tickets to the the, uh, the seminar. That's what's up. That's what's up. And, and, and thanks for reminding me, guys, you have to get tickets to the Truth About the Game seminar. Okay? Click the link below or go straight to MrLocario.com to get your tickets today. You feel what I'm saying? Get them tickets now. I'm telling you, you do not want to miss this seminar. You don't want to miss it. And also, you know, it's going to be cheaper to be there. <laughs> so, because when we film it and we post it up, you're either going to have to be a bad boy member to see the whole thing, or you're going to have to buy the, the DVD separately, which is going to cost more. So I'm just telling you, if, you, if you're in New York City or you get to New York City, Get your tickets now for the Truth About the Game seminar, okay? Also, make sure you guys get How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day, ebook, hard copy, and audiobook. I see right here, I'm going to have the, the DVDs. For those who can't make it, you'll be able to see it. So if you're in another state, country, um, you're going to be able to still see it. I'm going to put up clips, too, of when it's done. But you'll, you guys will see, man. But it's going to be tight. So if you can come through, if you're in the New York City area, you can get to the New York City area. Make sure you get your tickets, okay? Because this shit's going to be off the hook. Now, you know, I wanted to, uh, you know, put some some uh, some heavy game out today. I'm going to move to, to drop some heavy game on y'all, right? So the, the title of this show, I'm talking about you know, the one thing you could do to get women extremely attracted to you, right? Now, what you have to understand is this, and this doesn't necessarily even just go for women, this goes for people in general, but since we're talking about attracting women, I'm going to just keep it to women, right? What you have to understand is, is that women act or they buy into things or they are attracted to situations based off of emotion and not logic, emotion. So what happens is in order for you to actually 
um, get women extremely, extremely attracted to you. You have to tap into those emotions. See, what a lot of dudes do, and this is the big mistake, is that they, they try to logic their way into vagina. They try to logic their way into getting a girl to like them. Or they, they try to logic, uh, you know, within their own mind to say, this girl should want me because of this, this, and this. They'll be like, well, you know, I'm a nice guy. I have a nice job. I make money. You know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a decent looking dude. So she should want me. But then what happens is you notice she ends up fucking with Tyrone down the block who ain't got two nickels to rub together. And he's donkey fucking the shit out of this chick. And you're wondering what the fuck is going on. You feel what I'm saying? And see, the thing is, the reason why these other guys aren't getting it is because they don't understand that they have to tap into that emotion. See, even when people buy shit, like let's say when you buy a product or something or a service or whatever, most of the time, the reason why you're buying it is because of emotion. You understand? It's an emotional response as to why you're buying into this thing. So the same thing when you're dealing with um, with women, you got to tap into those emotions, right? So what are some ways you can tap into the emotions, right? And I actually talk about this a little bit in the, in the book, How to Have Sex to Him in a Day, where I was talking about this thing I call field talk. And basically that all that is, is when you're having conversations and interactions to get women to sort of feel things, you understand? Like squad, I'm gonna give you the, I'm gonna, you know, put out the number as soon as you call in. Um, but yeah, you, you gotta get these chicks to feel these emotions. So now, a lot of times what happens is a woman, she'll, she'll, she'll be attracted to you based off of, you can make her feel positive emotions or you can make her even feel negative emotions. But as long as she's feeling something, then you're all good. The, the thing you don't ever want to do is you don't want to um, get in a situation where she's interacting with you and she f kind of feels nothing. You understand what I'm saying? You said online dating is different. I'll get, I'll get to that in a second. I'll talk about online dating in a second. But the thing is to, to get women to you know, feel those emotions. David made you said manipulation. Nah, you don't even have, that's the thing. You don't have to manipulate them. A lot of it can be done. You know, you can manipulate if that's your, you know, that's what you do. But I, you know, I don't condone the manipulation. And, and, and I say manipulation in the sense of it being negative. You understand? Because you can look at manipulation in a, in not, so, not such a negative way, but in, in a sort of way where you're trying to, get a certain outcome going based off of understanding if I do this or do that, this will happen or whatever. But usually when people talk about manipulation, it's more, it has a negative connotation. But what I'm saying here is that to get these women to, to uh, fill you on some emotional shit, right? A lot of it has to do with you being able to understand certain, you know, uh, like behaviors that you can display when you're interacting with these girls, so a lot of times, for example, when guys are trying to talk to girls, they'll talk to girls just real regular, um, you know, just on some regular type of, hey, how's how's it going? How's your day? You know, uh, you know, do you come here often? All this other crazy shit. Right now, there's nothing wrong with, with that type of small talk at first, but you always want to turn it up a notch to where she can sort of feel something. And a lot of times when you flirt and you keep it lighthearted and fun, right? She'll start to feel something. And also too, what you can do is, is that you can tease the girl while you're flirting because the teasing of this, of her in the situation gets her to the point where she's feeling something. So for example, you know, you might be talking to a chick at a bar or something like that. And you know, um, you know, you have a regular small talk and all this other stuff. And then you might say to her, you might say something to her like, you know, you seem kind of nervous. Like, you know, you seem like, like you never like talk to a guy as good looking as me. Like, you know, are you, are you nervous? Like you seem like you kind of, kind of scared to talk to me. What's going on? You understand? So you're, you're sort of teasing her, but she's like, what, what are you talking about? I'm not nervous. Oh, you're funny, blah, 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 blah. And so that's taking the conversations from regular small talk 
to something fun, but you're teasing her and making it fun. You understand? So that's bringing up certain emotions. And so that thing, that's, you know, part of the thing that will get her attracted to you. You see what I'm saying? Because a lot of dudes, they think, oh, it's just about, you know, looks, money, status, all this other stuff. But what you got to understand is, is that it's the game that you uh, that you apply in the interaction. You understand? Because what I find funny about the whole looks, money, status things, because imagine a, a girl could be checking you out because she thinks you look good. And then you start talking to her and then she's turned off. Right. You've been talking to her for 10 minutes. So you're trying to tell me within that 10 minutes, you, you started to look different like. <laughs> Like your looks faded in 10 minutes. That's why she stopped liking you. No, she stopped liking you because you didn't know how to create that emotional uh, response within her. You understand what I'm saying? Or, or, or inspire her to get emotional when you're talking to her. Same thing with the whole money thing. It's like you, you, you know, a chick, you think, oh, the chick wants you just because of the money. And then all of a sudden you talk to her, you're interacting with her and she's turned off. And I'm like, well, did you? like lose your money within five minutes to talk to her no it's just that you don't know how to create a situation where she would be inspired to feel some sort of attraction for you because you're not tapping into those emotions and another thing to to, to tap into emotions is you can do uh things that get her to feel uncertain about the situation so for example if you notice that the girl is sort of choosing and she's feeling you and let's say you're at a bar and you'd be like, yeah, I'll be back. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. And you come back, but you don't go straight to her. You start talking to another girl. She sees you talking to another girl. That uncertainty, her wondering, oh, my God, does he like me? Is he going to keep talking to her? Is he going to not come back? Is he going to leave for her? You know, that type of shit will get her wondering. You feel what I'm saying? And so, that, so the thing is, you're tapping into those emotions. You understand? Another thing to tap into those emotions is the sexual tension. But skin ski up. <laughs> What's going on? You said, do I follow uh, Coach Corey Wayne's work? Yeah, I, I watch Coach Corey Wayne. Coach Corey Wayne got some some fire. He got some shit. Um, but yeah, you can tap into her emotions through sexual tension. You see what I'm saying? So what happens is, is that when you're interacting with the girl and you're flirting with her and you're making the the what you're saying a, a sexual thing or you're through your touch or whatever it is that's getting her excited you see what i'm saying and then so that brings her from just having a regular conversation with you to the point where she is you know excited to be with you in a sexual situation and sometimes too the the, the thing that that Guys got to understand is sometimes the, 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 a thing that could spike a chick's emotions really, really, uh, uh, like hard is when she doesn't see, uh, she doesn't see it coming, meaning that she doesn't, she like, it's almost left field sometimes. And this is some, something that you can do where you can be really bold and she doesn't see it coming. And then you sort of see her reaction based off of that. So, for example, I might be having small talk with a chick, right? Just, you know, like, hey, so what's going on? How you doing? Blah, blah, blah. My name's Locario. What's your name? Oh, Susan. Nice to meet you, Susan. So, you know, how's your day going? You know, oh, you came from work? Where you work at? Blah, 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 blah. You'd be like, listen, Susan, you know, I got to be honest with you. And I like this whole time I've been talking to you, I've just been thinking about getting you in bed naked and bending you over. Seriously. Like, what, what do you think about that? Now, she might be like, what the, you know what I mean? So she's, she might be like, oh my God, like, or she might laugh or she might be, you know, whatever, but you're looking for that response based off of what you just said. Cause she, did, she wasn't expecting that. Cause a lot of guys won't even, you know, say that or be bold or whatever to, to just jump that abruptly. You feel what I'm saying? So the thing is, is that that creates that emotional response from her. Now, does this mean that uh, every chick you do that to is going to, you know, create a, a positive response where she's into it. No, there's going to be some girls who aren't. But again, you're doing that to see uh, or to gauge how she's going to react emotionally. And also, too, sometimes even if she at first doesn't seem like she's into it, the fact that you said it, it's putting it in her mind 
which makes her, um, you know, which makes her want to, or, or makes her thinking about, makes her think about it, I should say. You understand? You said you get closer to her, like in her space. Yeah, like when you talking, you know, real close, you're face to face. You understand? And you know, you can even like, you know, say that in her ear, like pull her closer so that you know, it's like you're telling her a secret or some shit. You feel what I'm saying? You said I went from a zero to a hundred real quick. Now the other thing that I, that that you guys gotta uh, pay attention to. See, I'm giving y'all some 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 heavy game on this shit, right? Is that this is another way you sort of tap into those emotions and get her sort of hooked on you. And this is something a lot of guys don't do, but it's very, very important, right? But it takes a, a, a certain level of skill to sort of get this. You have to listen to what she's saying, not only through her, the, her words, but also her actions, and you also need to, to, to figure out what she's not saying through her words and her actions. So she's saying things based off the things she's saying and the, the, the stuff that she's not saying and the things she's doing, the stuff she's not doing. And so what happens is, is that when she's saying certain things, it's giving you insight into what she believes, what she's insecure about, what makes her happy, what makes her sad, all these different things based off of how you're having the conversation with her. So for example, I remember I was on a date with this girl, right? And she was a singer. She's a singer. Like, you know, she's a singer trying to get her, her foot in the game with the music and all that other stuff, right? So she was very like, she was very like uh, into her music and, you know, like took it seriously and wanted to like blow up and, you know, be the next Rihanna, Beyonce, whoever else. You understand what I'm saying? So now I'm listening to her talk about her music and the stuff she's doing. Um, and she was showing me some like, you know, clips on YouTube of her like doing the music or whatever. Right. And what happened was, you know, I told her, I was like, yeah, I used to, you know, I used to uh, do music back in the day. And then, you know, I was like, I moved on to this. And I also, and I started to tell her like, yo, I was on a couple of reality shows. I got into acting you know, I got into modeling. I used to model with polo jeans. So what I noticed, though, was that when I said this to her, it was almost like she was trying to compete, not necessarily like, you know, trying to uh, uh, one up me to a certain extent, but she was trying to also, I said, I should say, keep up with what I was saying. So she started talking about all this other stuff that she did, you know, she's like, oh, yeah, and I, I did this and I did that. As to like, so like to, to impress me, like, oh, you know, she didn't want to seem like she didn't do nothing while I'm telling her I'm doing everything. Right. But see what she was saying with that was that she, uh, she has a very, very vested interest in wanting to succeed and to make that happen. So my approval, cause y'all already see, y'all already see in the chat room. See, y'all smart. Y'all motherfuckers is smart in this chat room. God damn it. See, she's seeking my approval because there's part of her that sort of feels, uh, you know, insecure about what she's doing. Because even though she, you know, she likes the music or whatever, there's still part of her that's like, well, you know, am I going to make it? You know, are people going to like my music? You understand? So since I know that, right, she's like, like, yeah, you're right, um, AQI, and she wants that validation. So since I know that, to tap into those emotions and to make her feel that, you know, connection or whatever, right? I'm talking to her and I'm listening to music. And I'm like, yo, that, you know, that shit sounds cool. And, you know, I like the way you did this. And, you know, I was like, I have a, my sister, she does music too. And, you know, she sometimes does that. And, you know, I like the way that you did that because you, you looked real professional, blah, blah, blah. So the thing is, since I knew or I know what's important to her, I'm able to, to include that in the interaction you understand what i'm saying so what happens is it's the same thing like let's say if you had if you're talking to a really 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 hot chick right but let's say she was i don't know let's say she was trying to get through nursing school or she was uh trying to she was a, a, a artist a painter or whatever it is like let's say she did something that was interesting uh 
And it had nothing to do with her looks. You understand? It was just like she had some sort of skill or whatever. Most guys are going to be sweating her because she's cute. But if you take notice of the other things she does and you have that interest in it, she's more interested in you for even being interested in that because now you've noticed something that she maybe uh, was either a little bit insecure about, wasn't too sure about, that she was doing on the side, or you noticed something that was very important to her that most guys didn't. You see what I'm saying? But that all comes from listening. That all comes from listening to what she's saying so that you'll know how to, you know, implement what you're trying to do into the, the situation. You see what I'm saying? And then so that makes her feel you more because it's, it's uh, you know, you're, you're becoming that dude, right, who stands out because she's sort of feeling those feelings and she's attaching that to you based off of what you did. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, it's very important that you understand how it works when it comes to the emotions. You feel what I'm saying? Because a lot of dudes, when they talk to women and they interact with women, it's very surface level. They're, 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 they're busy wondering, like... How do I get her? What What's the next line that I have to say to get her to like me? And they're missing out on seeing what she's talking about, what she's thinking about, what she's saying, the, the type of stuff, the type of things that she, um, you know, is telling you. You understand? Because sometimes even girls will tell you shit that, you know, is kind of like red flags. You won't even notice it because you're not listening. Or sometimes girls will tell you shit that is giving you the 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 giving you all the things you need to be able to get her uh, basically into you. Like they'll let you know based off of the words they say, the things they're talking about, their body language, all of that shit. But you gotta be able to listen. I'm gonna have to do a whole a whole bad boy membership program just on that shit. You feel what I'm saying? I have to do a whole joint on that shit. And now the last thing I wanted to talk about when it comes to getting these women extremely attracted to you and when it comes to, you know, these emotions and everything is your intention, right? Is your intentions. And I talked about this once a while ago, but I'm, I'm going to talk about it here again, Right? Look, her in, look, the way your intentions, a lot of times is going to dictate how she feels. So basically what happens is that let's say your intentions with this girl is to uh, hook up with her really quick, like tonight. Like you're talking to this girl at the bar, you want to hook up with her tonight, you're trying to take her home tonight. Now, what's going to happen is if you're re if that's really your intentions, if you're full steam ahead with those intentions, the words you say, your body language, your energy is going to get her feeling like this is what's going to happen. This is what you're trying to do. And she's going to respond to that. So that since this is your intentions, Everything you're doing and saying and acting in that direction is going to get you closer to that goal if you are actually, if that's actually your intentions. See, the, the, this is the fucked up part about most guys when they're, when they're dealing with women, right? This is what dudes do. Let's, let's, let, me, let, me, let me tell you why most guys fuck up. And, and, and you probably could have been one of these guys too because I, I used to be one of these guys. <clears throat> so you would be at a, a, a party or something, right? You see a girl across the room, and in your mind, you say, oh, shit, that chick is bad. Like, I would smash, oh, I would, you know, I would fuck the shit out that girl, right? So you're saying that to yourself. Then when you go over there to talk to her, you avoid saying anything even remotely close to what you were thinking in your head. See, your intentions were to, you know, smash. You, that's what you want to do. That's what you really want to do. 
But when you're talking to her, you're just like, hey, so how's it going? What's up? What's your name? Oh, Stacy, nice to meet you, Stacy. So, uh, you know, uh, where you go to school? And oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. And, and, you, and then you end up talking to her for like 45 minutes. And not once have you mentioned smashing. Not once have you shown her that you're trying to do this. You see what I'm saying? They say you, you said you became the nice guy. Exactly. Because you were scared to show your intentions. So what you got to understand is, is that the intentions are the thing that's going to make the situation uh, come together better. It's like this. Well, I'm gonna take calls in a second. Hold on, hold on. It's like this because I want to. I want to make this clear so you guys understand when I'm talking about intentions. It's like this. What's the like? If you're watching a scary movie, the scary movie, the the intentions of the scary movie is to scare you. You understand what I'm saying? So you watch this scary movie. And then you get scared because that was the, what the, the intended purpose of that movie was to scare you. You watch a comedy, the intentions is to make you laugh. So everything they're doing and putting together is designed to try to make you laugh. You understand? So that's the thing. If it's, it's like, you know, if you're watching a, 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 a porno, right? The intentions of the porno is to, you know, get you off, to get you hard and you you know, beat off and then that it is what it is. Right? Now imagine you were watching a porno and you know how sometimes you see a porno where they have storylines and but they they event they get to some sex at some point, right? Imagine you watched a porno that was an hour long. But there, there was no, there was no sex. They were just talking. The girls in the bikini. The guy was in a room about to, to smash. But they were just talking. Hey, so how's your day? Blah blah blah. They, they were talking about their feelings and all this other stuff. You're like, what the fuck is this bullshit? You understand? You, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have that same feeling. But see, the intentions of the porno is to get you off, to give you that feeling, and then you get that feeling watching that porno. Because the intentions of the porno is to get you in that mood. So this is what I'm saying. When you have those intentions, when you're talking to the women, that's the thing that's going to make the shit go the way it needs to go. Now, again, you have to, and this is, this is the tricky part about game. This is why it's so important to learn this stuff because um, if you have the intentions that can help you out um, in a lot of cases. Um, but sometimes what's going to happen is you might not get things popping because the intentions weren't uh, mixed with knowing what to say and do. So you may have the intentions to actually like smash, you know, I want to smash this girl, this is what I want to do, this is what I'm approaching or whatever. But you still don't know how to start the conversation, build sexual tension and all the other stuff in order to get that going. So you see, so it's like you have the intentions, but you also need to learn how to do the thing. This is why, you know, um, even when we talk about confidence, confidence will get you far. But a lot of times, if you don't know how to do the specifics, the technical type of stuff when it comes to the game, you know, you're going to mess up a lot, even though you have that confidence. So it's the confidence plus the actual stuff that you need to learn how to do. John, you said, how do you step up your flirt sexual game? That's so why you got to go to bad boy membership. <laughs> Get the, the, the uh, you know, you can listen to the program, The Art of Flirting, or also the other program, How to Build Sexual Tension When You're With a Woman. All that stuff is on the bad boy membership. All of it. You feel what I'm saying? Because, you know, it's detailed. So, you know, I can't be here for like 10 hours uh, saying it. Damn, why is this shit just cut off automatically? Hold on. Let me. Now I got to redo this. Because this shit want to cut off on a, on a brother. When he's spitting that heavy game. 
it's not right. Let me get the, the chat going again. Hold on. Hold on. All right, let me see. Let me see. All right, you guys can see me? Can you guys see me? Can you guys see me? But yeah, the membership is off the goddamn chain. It's off the fucking hook. Okay, I think you guys can see me. All right, you guys can see me. Awesome. That's that's what's up. So um So yeah, David, the membership is 97 a month. 97 a month. Yeah, man. But the shit is I'm telling you guys. But um but yeah, that's why everybody needs to join the bad boy membership. That shit is off the fucking up. I say the bad boy membership is probably the best thing that I've ever done in my life. <laughs> ever. <laughs> like, like that shit is crazy. But um, but yeah, that's the thing. A lot, a lot of guys gotta understand that what will make a woman really, really attracted to you, extremely attracted to you, is the you know, you tapping into those emotions. You feel what I'm saying? Rose Rose Diddy, you said you haven't been late in two years and you're good looking. You said would it help? Oh yeah, of course it'll help. But again, you gotta you gotta do the work. Because you know, I had I had this one dude on there and I loved it because he 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 went he went the fuck in. He he ended he told he said that he ended up having like 14, 15 chicks in a few months. I was like, God damn. I was like, you you doing better than me. Shit, I need to join his membership. <laughs> It's like, God damn. You feel what I'm saying? And so, you know, but then I had other people who uh, joined the membership and they'll join it for like a month <laughs> and try to rush through all the programs. And then they'll be like, oh, it didn't help. And I'm like, well, bro, you was on it for a month. The, see, the, the, the point of to, to, on the membership is to be on it continuously so that you can amass that, you know, get all the knowledge on a continuous basis. You feel what I'm saying? Crazy. Todd, you said what helped me become a, a great teacher? I mean, I don't I don't even think I'm that I don't even think I'm great. I think I'm I'm good. I wanna like there's so much shit, dude. It's like I wanna get to the, the to there. But I but but I think what makes what makes me uh effective, I should say, and good is that I listen and I observe. You understand? Because you got to be able to know how to relate. You feel what I mean? But um but Rose Diddy the 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 the, the site is badboymembership.com. I'll put it in the in the joint. Hold on. badboymembership.com. So that's the joint right there. Man, you said the most ridiculous thing you ever heard is the game is to be sold, not told. <laughs> is that he said that's ridiculous? He said it, re it, it really is, it's really like that. The game is to be taught, not bought. You have to learn it, you can't earn it. <laughs> not yet. The game is supposed to be, you know, supposed to be sold, not told, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Because the thing is, what you got to understand is, is that the game is transactional. It's always transactional. You got to understand that. So in order for you to get, you got to give. Just like right now, you're giving me your attention and therefore you're getting information. You see what I'm saying? And then the, the, the other side of the paradigm is that you pay for a product or service and then you get the product or service you see what i'm saying that's how that's how it works see the 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 unfortunate part of the situation is a lot of guys try to trick the system and this is why they don't have success in the game 
Because if you're trying to trick the system, that's when you create disharmony within the game. Meaning that if you are, if you're trying to find all these shortcuts and 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 formulas to for the quick fixes and all that other stuff, it always falls apart because things have to naturally progress in its natural way of of you know of going how it needs to go like sometimes i even have dudes it'd be funny i have dudes that'll um they'll subscribe to to my uh they'll go to uh, and, and guys remember go to undeniablegame.com if you go to undeniablegame.com you can get my free audio program undeniable game and it teaches you seven tips on how to attract beautiful women so that's free go to undeniablegame.com you feel what i'm saying to get that it's free so I have dudes go to undeniablegame.com or they'll get my free uh, ebook, The Magnificent 10 Crucial Dating Tips for Men. Either one of those. Those are two free. You could get both of those for free. Right? So they'll subscribe to the um to the uh to the to the newsletter. And when you subscribe, you can always unsubscribe. So then I'll get dudes who will subscribe. And then they'll literally unsubscribe within five minutes because they don't want to be on the, the email list. Right. And then those will be the same dudes who they're on the Internet trying to, like, find the other shit that they need to pay for for free. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all saying if it's free, it's probably not worth it. Well, it, it, not necessarily. What, got, what people got to understand about free stuff, because even when I do free stuff on on these um you know, on the YouTube stuff, like this stuff right here is free. What you have to understand is, it's not that the free stuff isn't worth anything. What you have to understand is a lot of times the free stuff is just the introduction. It's just, um, you know, it's giving you a taste. Just like when you go to a, um, you you walk past a restaurant, they have a free sample of, they'll have like an hors d'oeuvre or something and it's free. You taste it, you're like, oh, this is good. I like this. And then you go in and then you get, you know, the big portion or you get more. But then you got those people that want to walk around the block each time, keep getting free little samples. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I'm just like, yo, what are, what, are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm like, man. But that's, how, that's how the game goes, man. Moving this on, she said, nobody likes wasting their knowledge and their time and giving someone advice and they don't use it. Real shit. And that's the thing. A lot of, a lot of, see, what you got to understand is, is, um, it's a mindset, right? It's a mindset that you have that causes you to, uh, do certain things and then not do certain things. You understand what I'm saying? So even when it comes to money, a lot of people have like a, a, a very, uh, negative mindset when it comes to money. Let me see who this is. Yo, what's popping? Hey, Mr. Barry, what's up, man? What's going on? Who's this? This is LG from New York, bro. Alright, what's popping? You got them tickets, bro? I'm about to, man. I'm about to, man. Actually, right. uh, I took off from, uh, from work. I have a couple of trips I'm about to make, but I'm right. definitely uh, trying to come down to see you, man. That's what's up. That's what's up. But, so what's uh, going on with you? I I just wanted to say something, man. Fucking, um, I'm the same guy that called in um, about the chick from the gym. Oh, right, uh, I right. I got an update for you, man. Right. So, so what's you know, going what on I with noticed? you? I've been, um, what I noticed was, you know, the game is crazy. So mm -hmm. there's this chick at my job. She's like 52. Mm -hmm. So, you know, she'd be giving me like mad signs that she's interested in everything else. And it's crazy because I was just thinking to myself, I was like, yo, I'm young. She's more into me. She's always giving me like 30 signs saying, oh, you look so good. Mm. Yeah, yeah, this and that. Right. It's crazy. What I realize is that when you relax, and I want to know if this is the same exact thing that you can do with girls that are more my age because I'm, I'm 29. Mm. But I noticed that when I'm more relaxed, my game is crazy with her. I'll be saying like off the wall shit like, yo, mm. I want you to... I want you to, like, suck my dick like crazy shit to her. Right. And she's, like, feeling it. <laughs> she's, like, all about it. So... She hit me up the other day. She was saying, oh, you know, I'm sorry I missed you the other day. You know, I made cookies and brownies. And I brought them to work. <laughs> right. 
So I said to her, I said, damn, I says, how come you didn't give me an update about this? I said, hold on, come here real quick. Mm. So I said, you know what, I'm going to have to give you my number because next time you do some shit like that, mm. I want to make sure I got first dibs. Like, right, around. right. <laughs> so I gave her my number, she hit me up the same time. Right. She hit me up, and then all of a sudden she starts getting mad probably about like all this sex stuff and how she wants to like fuck me and everything else. Right. So I said to her, I said, you know what, how about Monday? I said, what you doing Monday? She says, oh, I'm off from work. I said, all right, cool. Mm. 30 Monday, we're going to meet up for some drinks. Mm. I'm gonna come to the crib after. You're gonna make me something nice to eat, right. and we get a popping. Right. Macario, man, she was. She said, "Okay, bro." And I was like, "Damn, I wish my game could be like that <laughs> all the time." Like just. But that. But that's. Crazy. But that's. That's what I'm saying. That was that's just an experiment too. That's how it's supposed to be, though. But see, again, the reason why it was like that in that in that situation was because you was more comfortable, but also you was comfortable. Two partly because she was cooperating. You see what I'm saying? So what you uh-huh. so what you need to do is you need to be able to have that same energy, that same swag you had <clears throat> to every girl you deal with, even if they're cooperating or not. You feel what I'm saying? To the point where yeah. to the point where it's even it should even be more arrogant when she's not cooperative. You understand what I'm saying? So like if a chick ain't cooperating with you, be like, listen, you know, it's all good, you know. Um, I understand right now you're nervous because you never deal with a dude that was fly as me. So when you when you relax and when you get when you start getting brave enough to hit me up, then hit me up. Other than that, we can keep I'll keep it pushing. Like it's it's that energy, and then that and then when you do that, it's almost like what you're doing is is you're conditioning yourself to consistently be that dude. You see what I'm saying? Because what you're doing is you're not making anything phase you. You have that swag and that energy regardless. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, well, my question for you is this, like, mm-hmm. all right, so if I have, like, the same energy and the same swag with any girl that I'm talking to, like, part, mm-hmm. of, the, part of the reason why I was more confident, I was more arrogant, I guess, mm-hmm. not a bad way, but I was, like, a lot more, like, sure of myself, was mm-hmm. because I was, like, I'm the young guy, I'm in shape, mm-hmm. she's older, she's, like, 52, but she looks good for her age, mm-hmm. but I'm, like, she's older, so mm-hmm. it's a privilege for me to even be speaking to her. Mm. That's the mindset that I came at it. Right. And now, what, I'm dealing with girls my age. Mm-hmm. It's a different It's a different feel. I'm like, because girls my age, you know, they're still in their prime. So I feel like it's harder to do the same exact thing. And Am see I that, wrong? And, or? and see, that's, that's, that's your mistake right there. Just like, just like what you said. You said, because she's 52, you feel like mm-hmm. it's a privilege for her to fuck with you. Right? Now you're saying, yeah. because you deal with chicks your age, you feel like it's different now and, 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 you know, because they're in their prime. See, you have to switch your mindset where it's, it's not only a privilege for that 52-year-old, it's a privilege for any chick to fuck with me. You understand what I'm saying? Period. Okay. That's how you got to look at it. It's a privilege for any chick to fuck with me. This is why, see, when you develop that mindset and you understand that and you look at it like that, that's when you become way more attractive to women just in general because you have that 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 uh confidence that know how that sure you you're so sure of yourself that it doesn't matter who you're talking to because to all to to any woman it's a privilege for them to be talking to me this is dude this is how I, I step to chicks all the time because when I step to chicks I'm looking at it like look first of all I I see you and I think okay you you're cute, right? And okay. that, and that's cute that you're cute, but you're just cute. You feel what I'm saying? And and most mm-hmm. nine times out of ten, and 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 if any dude is honest with himself, you know he'll 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 answer this question honestly and say, out of out of let's say ninety percent of the women or ninety five percent of the women that you that you've met right in your life or you know, known about, how many of these women actually were doing anything you know outside or or, or or let's say forget about their looks and how good they look or whatever what else are they doing that's um like fantastic and great and amazing that it's just like blowing everything out the water she's like this superstar woman like what is she doing most of them aren't doing nothing you know what i'm saying so yeah so so the, so the big draw is their looks so the thing is a lot of times if you're not phased by that, and this is why you have to, again, this is why I said you have to condition yourself to be that dude by continuously having your swag up to that level, and it's already a mindset. 
when you're doing that, what happens is, is that when you're dealing with these chicks, no matter if she's hot or whatever, she could be the hottest chick on the block, whatever it is like that. You're not phased by that because her being hot doesn't matter. That's not even a thing. It's like, whatever. I speak to hot girls all the time. Like, you're just another hot chick that I might want to smash here and there and might put, want to put on my team. And you might be lucky enough to be on my team. You might be lucky enough to get the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that I have in order to be in my circle, in my cipher. You see what I'm saying? So so that's the, that's the thing you got to understand because the thing is you have to... It's almost like you have to have this insane, ridiculous uh, amount of confidence to the point where, and it's and, and it's and it's not even anything fake. It has to be something that is real and that you really feel. And again, this is why you got to switch that mindset up because the same way you, the only reason that you feel good about that, uh, doing it with that fifty-two-year-old, is because in your mind you already feel like, well, look, you know, like I'm the shit. You understand what I'm saying? And that's, that's how you feel in in, in uh, juxtaposition to her, right? Now, when yeah. you're with the other girl, you're like, well, I don't know because now you're putting her on a pedestal. By you saying that, you're already putting her on a pedestal. You see what I'm saying? You have to look at... That. Right. You have to look at all women as they would be lucky enough to fuck with me. You see what I'm saying? Because even when I... Even before oh, I approach yeah. a girl, I say, to her, I say to myself, yo, none of these girls in this club or this bar is going to be able to fuck with me unless I approach them. You know what I'm saying? Period. Okay. And so it got to be that that type of thing. You feel me? Yeah. Well, let me ask you something, man, mm. because um, sometimes I'll approach, like, for example, mm. um, I just got two more questions. I'm not going to keep you too long, but mm. sometimes I'll approach, right? Say right. a girl my age, she looks good and everything else. I'll approach, and I find that sometimes when I come with that same energy, mm. that sometimes... It's almost like they give me shit tests. Like, they'll give mm. me one word of answers or they'll be cold and distant or it mm-hmm. seems like they're not really interested. Meanwhile, before I even approach them, I saw them checking me out and everything else and smiling. And then when mm. I come up to approach them, mm. all of a sudden their whole demeanor changes up. Mm. What do I do in that situation? Well, that's the thing. This is why you have to be able to get used to um, talking and interacting with women because what, what, it, what it is is this. You're going to get the same responses um, all the time from from women so you're gonna get a, a response of cooperation where a girl is like so into you you're not it's almost like you're not even doing anything you're just like there and she's she wants to fuck with you period then you're gonna have okay. the response of a girl who is just totally not into you at all you understand she don't like you she don't want to talk to you you're not her type that type of chick you just charts to the game then you're gonna okay. have the response of the girl, like you said, they be checking you out, but then when you come over, they kind of like playing hard to get or whatever. Those are the, the girls who are sort of in between. Now, with those responses, you're going to get, you know, you, you, if the more you talk to women, the more that you're going to see those similar responses. And therefore, you have already in your arsenal what to say and do in that situation. You see what I mean? And the thing is, okay. all situations are, are, are going to be unique. But the the context a lot of times is the same. So, for example, let's say if you um you're talking to a girl, and like you said, you you see her checking you out, but then you go up and approach her, and she's giving you one word answers, right? And then so uh-huh. you know you could say something to her like, "Yo, listen, you know, I really like women who uh, have good social skills. You think you got good social skills? Because I notice you saying one word answers and." I don't know. That, that doesn't seem like good school social skills to me. What, what do you think? Right? And so you're flipping it back on her, but that's something you could say 90% of the time when a girl's giving you one word answers. Or you can say some other okay. shit that you already have in your arsenal for when that happens. Same thing for you might go up to a girl and she might say, I have a boyfriend. You understand? You might hear that. Oh, I got a boyfriend. I got a boyfriend. You understand what I'm saying? And then so, uh-huh. so the thing is, is that you can have certain things to say once they say, hey, I got a boyfriend. Be like, oh, cool. Well, you know, after I have sex with you, just uh, I'll, I'll drive you to his house. You understand? Like, whatever. But you're just saying something to go back and forth with that. Because sometimes, because I, I don't recommend fucking with chicks with boyfriends, but sometimes uh-huh. they, don't, they don't have boyfriends. You understand? They're just saying that. And then sometimes what happens is, is that they will reveal to you they don't have a boyfriend and they were just playing around. Like, I remember one time that happened with this girl... She was like, oh, I got a boyfriend and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, oh, you know, that's cool. But I was like, listen, what I'm going to do is 
I'm going to take you in that bathroom. I'm going to fuck the shit out of you. And all you got to do is just not tell your boyfriend. Everything's going to be fine. You understand? And then we can meet up next week again right here. I'll fuck you in the bathroom again. You can go back to your boyfriend. I was like, I don't want to mess up a, a, a nice relationship. And like, she's laughing and all this other shit. And then literally five minutes later, she's like, okay, okay. I don't really have a boyfriend. I just be telling guys that because blah, blah, blah. You understand what I'm saying? So okay. she, so she revealed she didn't have a boyfriend. And I ended up fucking with that girl for like three or four months. You feel what I'm saying? So Now, if I say that and I use an approach, like, mm-hmm. like one of my fears is that, you know, if I come across like that, and, it's, it's, you know, I say it in like a funny way. Mm-hmm. I'm joking around. Right. I worry about like a girl like trying to blow up my spot or mm-hmm. her taking it out of context and just starts like bashing me and everything else. That's like one of my fears. So you said that sometimes shit? the stuff that you, sometimes the things that you teach us, mm-hmm. I feel like if I use that strategy, like being more witty and funny mm-hmm. and saying some off the wall shit like you just said, mm-hmm. I feel like it could go south really quick. Mm-hmm. And that's what I worry about. Well, that's the thing. The re- the, there's only going to be mainly two reasons why it's going to go like south or it'll go in that direction. One is if you're saying or doing things that you're not comfortable saying or doing. You understand? Because what happens is is that you're saying stuff and you're doing stuff that isn't congruent with who you are. Because the stuff that I'm telling you is just examples of stuff that I'll say because I'm comfortable saying it and I like saying it and it's funny to me or whatever. So I'll say that shit and what happens is since it's congruent with who I am, then it comes off more natural versus if a person says it or does it where they're just saying lines or doing lines or whatever, but they're not really feeling it. The girl can sense that, you know, you're just saying shit and then it becomes annoying. You see what I'm saying? And then that could make her want to, you know, um, you know, lash out or say something stupid. Now, another reason why is because, um, when you approach her, when you're interacting with her, you're already starting the conversation off or the interaction off nervous because just like you said you said i'm nervous and scared that she might do this and do that everything that you're thinking when you're when you're nervous about that that's already going to come across in in your body language and in your voice your, your the, the way your voice sounds the way you're talking you understand and again that right there is is annoying to her because because remember you look you have to understand and this is this is the, the thing that's going to make shit a little more clear for guys right you got to understand or, or look at things from a woman's perspective. Imagine that you're a chick, right? And 99.9% of the time, the only way that you're going to get a guy that you like or a person that you like is that if that person comes and talks to you. So meaning that women only choose generally what comes to them. Even if a woman is checking a guy out, if he doesn't approach her, she mo- most likely is not going to approach him and talk to him. So therefore, she's not going to get him. So what I'm saying is, is that if you come up to her all nervous and insecure and on some like, you know, like, oh, I'm insecure type of type of vibe, you're not the only dude who did that. She's been getting that shit all week. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. And so and so now she's this is what break this is what makes women act kind of bitchy towards dudes sometimes because and also sometimes it's a reflex too. This is why I was saying that. You know, um, a lot of times when when a, when a when a chick acts on some bitchy shit, I just keep it moving. So I don't even I don't even bother sometimes. But <clears throat> the thing is, if she's doing something like give me word of word answers, or she's like talking about oh she has a boyfriend, or she's like playfully because you got to still look at the context and look at the vibe. If she's playfully giving me shit, that's one thing I could I could work with that. But if she's like you said, being very belligerent and, and angry and nasty. I just keep that shit pushing. You feel what I'm saying? But you, but this is what I'm saying. Usually, that's only going to happen if you're saying and doing things that you're not comfortable saying or doing. Because then, and also, too, that in turn makes you seem nervous and awkward or whatever. And that's annoying to her. And she doesn't feel like dealing with that. And this is why she lashes out and acts ridiculous. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. So I have to, so I have to do and say stuff that's more congruent with my personality. Like I'm more laid back. I'm more right. So more calm and collected. Right. So the thing so is, like, right. So the thing is too. Then? The thing is too. All you need to do <clears throat> is not be extremely reactive to her. You okay. Understand? So the thing is, like, let's say, let's say, like, you go up and talk to a girl or whatever, and she's like. You know, you go up to her and be like, hey, what's up, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, oh, just walk away. I don't I'm not, I don't want to talk to you. You understand? Now, the thing is, if she's if she's like that, you understand what I'm saying? 
usually in, in most cases I don't even fuck with her because I'm like get out of here I'm like no you walk away I'll stand like, like I remember one time I did that this chick's like oh walk away I was like no 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 I'm staying here you walk away I don't want to see you anymore like you you disgust me I don't like women who act like that you understand like and then so she walked away and she was laughing while she was walking away you know what I'm saying like some dumb shit right? yeah. so but what I'm saying is is that the thing is that let's say for example you get a girl who is playfully being uh you know T- like she's testing you in a playful way. You understand what I'm saying? So let's say if you go up to a girl and you say, uh, you know, hey, what's up? What's your name? And then she's like, oh, you know, why do you want to know my name? And then she says it with a smile. You understand what I'm saying? That's her playfully, you know, being all like, you know, cute and shit. You understand? Okay. So then what I'm saying is, is that you have to not be thrown off by that. So she's like, oh, you know what? Why do you want to know my name? You can't be like, um, well, um, because, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't have that vibe. You understand? So if she says, oh, why do you want to know my name? And you just sort of pause for a second, look at her and be like, you know, I like to know uh, a chick's name before I fuck her. You understand what I'm saying? Like, whatever. You understand? Like, that's just me uh, saying okay. it. You see what I mean? I so you. You, you don't respond in a way where you're being reactive to her because... Now, she, if she's throwing you off, that's fucking up the whole situation. You see what I'm saying? This is why I tell guys you have to practice this stuff because it's something that you have to be able to um, be be able to like internalize so that you know. You, it's almost like before you even go out and talk to chicks, you're prepared for when they playfully test you. You're prepared for when they give you one word answers. You're prepared for all of that shit. So you're prepared in what you respond to. Or, or what you say, and you're also prepared in your body language. You're not flinching. You're not like getting all over the place because of what she said. You see what I mean? And so, when you keep your composure like that, that's the thing that turns a lot of shit around. You see what I'm saying? Because a lot of guys, sometimes a chick will be playfully testing you, and because you didn't understand how to respond to that, you fucked the whole shit up because now she's thinking damn, this guy doesn't get it. You feel what I'm saying? He doesn't understand that I'm trying to flirt with him and he's just, you know, he's not he's not uh, confident. You understand? So it's almost like you're, you're, you need to be able to go back and forth with the chick in those situations a lot of times in order to take it to the next step. You see what I'm saying? That's, that's interesting because today, um, when I was, I told you I have uh, plans to meet that chick on Monday. Mm-hmm. So there was some, we used to, Meet up for some drinks. I'm gonna go back to her crib, mm-hmm. and she joked around with me. And she says, "Oh, you know, on Monday when I come to see you, I'm gonna dress like a bum." Mm-hmm. So I said to her, "I said, all right. I said that's cool. I said if I see you dressed like a bum, mm-hmm. don't worry, I'll be hitting on the waitress." Right, right, you know, exactly. So this is what I'm saying, and it's like that whole free flowing energy needs to be in that in that uh, you know interaction. Because remember, this is what you're gonna say about women. Women are very flighty and in the moment. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So when a, when, when a woman approach, when a woman gets approached by a guy or she's talking to a guy or a guy, you know, she's checking him out or whatever. And a guy comes up to her and starts talking and she's playfully testing him and she's doing all this other stuff. And he knows how to come back and forth with her. She's not thinking, Oh, this guy must've, uh, you know, read a lot of books and seduction manuals and he learned how to, do this in this moment to get me to feel a certain way towards him. She doesn't think about all that. She just thinks there's some guys who know how to do it and some guys who don't. There's some guys who's confident. There's some guys who's insecure. And there's some guys who's uh, attractive to her. There's some guys who's not. And unfortunately, what happens is for women is 90% of the time, they're running into the guys who don't get it. They're running into the guys who are insecure. They're running into the guys who are not confident. And the reason these guys are like that is because they don't know the game. You see what I'm saying? And so yeah. so when she meets that guy who's like, oh, she's like, oh, shit, this guy is... Because, again, her meeting you and, and interacting with you a, a lot of times creates that situation to where she's attracted to you. It's the equivalent of a really hot woman, a really hot bad chick walking into the bar. You understand what I'm saying? When the really hot bad chick walks into the bar, you're you're you perk you're like, oh shit, she's bad. Like you 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 get she got your attention. You understand? Yeah. What gets a woman's attention is when she's interacting with the guy 
and she's feeling those feelings. Again, this is what I was saying earlier about the emotions. When she's feeling the feelings, that's when you really got her attention. She could think you're cute across the room. She could think, and this is why, again, you were saying chicks will check you out, but then when you come up to them, it's the one word answers, it's all this other, you know, goofy shit. It's because that's just the 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 idea. You understand? It's just like it's just like if you're at the bar and you're in, and there's hardly any bad chicks, you're thinking to yourself, damn. I hope some hotter girls come in. That's the idea, right? Then when the, the yeah. hot girls come in, it's real now. Like, yes, this is what I want. When that girl sees you across the bar and she thinks you're cute, that's the idea. When you come over and you interact with her and she she's like, oh, shit, now it's real. Now this guy is really attractive. I'm attracted to him now because he knows how to do this shit. That's, this is why I've been trying to tell dudes for the past 10 years we always think, oh, it's all about looks. It's all... No, I'm like, you don't know how to be an attractive motherfucker to women. This is why we're trying to tell dudes. You see what I'm saying? And that's what it is. 100%. You see what I mean? So that's why and that's why you got to work. You got to practice your game. You got to practice uh, uh, being comfortable around women. Because the more comfortable you're, 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 you are around her is the... It's the, 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 the determining factor of you actually getting her or not getting her. And it's, it's, it's literally sometimes like one simple thing. Because if a girl's giving you one word answers and you, okay. and you look like you're upset about it and you look like you're uncomfortable about it and you look like you don't know what to do, then you, you lost her. But if the girl's giving you one word answers and you just snap back, boom, now, now she's like looking at you totally different. You see what I'm saying? And I now she's you. like, okay, this is the guy. You feel what I'm saying? So that's yeah. what it is. You feel what I mean? And my last, and my last question before um, before I get up the line, mm -hmm. I'll, make, I'll make sure I'll make it quick. All right. The more you practice talking to girls and everything else, do you, because I'm not, I wasn't exactly born with the gift of gab. Mm -hmm. So the more I do it, eventually, will that just come? Or like, how does, like, if you don't have the gift of gab, are you mm -hmm. like fucked or? No, and that's the thing. That's, not, that's the thing. See, the practice, this is what I'm, this is what I'm trying to tell cats. The practice is the thing that gets you that, you know, that, uh, that skill. That's the thing that guys don't understand. See, it's just like anything else. Like if you, it's like going to the gym. If you keep lifting weights in the gym, you're going to build that muscle. If you keep talking, because even if you don't have that gift of gab, your gift of gab will be developed through the talking, through you practicing talking. Because again... The more you're, when you're practicing, you're talking with the women, you're not just talking to yourself. You're, you're actually talking to the women. So what happens is, is that your mind and your body is conditioning itself to talk to other women. So if I'm talking to Stacy and I talk to Tiffany, uh -huh. right? The fact that I talk to those two girls is helping me talk to Jennifer. Then, then talking to Stacy, you know, Tiffany and Jennifer helps me talk to Susan, so if I'm racking up all of this talking experience, then by the time I get to the hundredth girl, I'm better than when I started with the first girl. You see what I'm saying? But again, this is why I say that it's a combination of you going out and doing those things and also studying the game so that you know the, the little intricacies with it. And this is why I'm saying that because if I, if I talk to a hundred girls and 50 of them say they got a boyfriend, right? The first girl who said she had a boyfriend or whatever, I may not, you know, know what to do. Or let's say, let's, let's forget the boyfriend. Let's say a girl who gives me one word answers. The first girl who gives me okay. one word answers, I might not know what to do. Second girl who gives me one word answers, I might still be kind of shaky. Third girl who gives me one word answers, I might come up with a response. And I'll be like, oh shit. Like, and, and it might be off the fly because of me continuously talking to women. And then so when I, when I respond to her, right, I might be like, oh shit, that was good. Like, I, I like the way she responded. Then the next girl that gave me one word answers... Because of what happened last time, I can use that for this time because it worked last time. Then I noticed, oh shit, it's working again, right? And it's so okay. because you kept doing that, those situations kept coming up and then you got better at being able to respond when those situations keep coming up. And this is the thing that you got to understand is that the more you talk to girls, you're going to continuously, and this is what I said earlier, run into the same types of situations and responses from women. You understand what I'm saying? That's that's the yeah. thing that you got to understand. And then so now you'll be able to. It's just like this. Like for example, me me right here talking to you. A lot of times when guys call in, do, do I don't know if y'all realize this, but most of the questions you ask surround is is, is basically um, uh, 
like this, almost like the same 20 questions over and over again. So therefore, I'm, it's easier for me to respond back to you. This is why I can read someone's email. When I'm coaching somebody, I can tell this quick what needs to be done because I've been doing this over and over and over and over again for a long time. You see what I'm saying? So is that is that, yeah. same, is that same type of shit? You feel what I mean? I got you. So practice makes perfect then. Exactly. That's what it is. Unfortunately, a lot of dudes ain't out here practicing. That's why they're not getting it popping. That's really what it is, you know? So, you know. I got you, man. Yeah, Thank man. you, McCarr. I appreciate it, man. That's what's up, bro. Man, keep doing your thing. And make sure make sure you come to the seminar, bro. I'm going to need you at the seminar, bro. You feel what I'm saying? I got you, man. Well, right, um, one more uh, Real quick, what are the dates again? It's April 14th. April 14th from 630 to 930 in New York City, 23rd Street. So just hit me hit me up through the email gotcha. if anything. You know what I'm saying? No, make it happen. All right, sounds good, man. All right, bro. Yeah, All right, later. peace. Later. All right, let me see who this is. Yo, what's going on? Yo, what up, Lucario? What's popping? What's going on? Is this 70 man, plus, dude? <laughs> yeah, you know what it is, man. You, you know who it is, man. What's going I, always, on, bro? I always catch them, man, when they uh, be popping up on my phone, man. I was trying to figure out. I said, man, what was the last caller calling from the trunk or something, man? <laughs> that noise was killing me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was something in the background. I was like, I didn't know what that was. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, man. I said, you're a talented dude, man. You able to push through it all, man. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> What's going on yeah, too? man. But, but another thing I think, even from my experience, and I want to say, um, guys should probably work on too, mm. like something that you touched on in your videos, man. Like, they need to get in the mindset of being able to just, like, let a bitch go. Like, right, meaning right. that if she's not cooperating, because I've even noticed this. I see this at work. Mm. I see this out in the streets. I hear it. And I, I hear guys call other dating people and ask them about it. And I notice, like, a lot of guys are afraid to just, when they identify that a woman is, is not on their page mm. or they a woman run across them and she telling them that they got to wait and go through X, Y, and Z to right. do whatever it is that they're trying to do. It's like they act like, they can't meet nobody else or I got to go through her plan because, man, if I, you know, if I don't do this or if I cut her off, I don't know when I'm going to meet the next woman. Mm -hmm. I'm like, man, you, you got to get out that mindset, man. You got to get more comfortable with talking to other women in the world and stuff like that. Right. Like, I'd be slick. I'd be slick wanting to, like, figure out, like, do you, what you think it is, Lucario? Do you think most guys approach women, or do you think it's very few of us? Because, like, even when mm -hmm. I'm out and about and I see things in the world, right. I've had women even tell me, said, most guys really don't even mm. come up to me like that. Like, usually what they do is, like, let's say, like, they go to work or mm. they go to school or whatever it is they do. They'll, they'll get in the surroundings where they see her every day. Then they'll build up the confidence around the fourth or fifth day to kind of slowly for surely let them know. Right. But as far as them, like, out the blue, like, seeing a chick on the street like I would or seeing mm -hmm. her wherever, walking up to her and just cold approaching, I found out, I guess, most guys don't do that. What do you think it is? You think most of them don't do it or they just do it in a goofy-ass way? What's your perspective on it? Yeah, most most guys, most guys truthfully, like, like in the street, don't, yeah. like, really... Um, approach that much what a lot of guys do is they do they 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 um they put out a lot of like energy towards women but they don't really necessarily like go in so what i'm saying is like for example a woman might be walking down the street and she's gonna get a lot of dudes checking her out and then like like blatantly checking her out you feel what i'm saying but uh, let's say she get like a hundred guys checking her out maybe like 10 of them will say something you feel what i'm saying or maybe 15 if that much but most guys aren't oh. going to go and approach her. But if she's in a bar or something, then that's different. More guys will probably approach in that bar because they're in that setting. You see what I mean? But generally what yeah. happens is that they don't get as many dudes, um, you know, approaching as, as they as they expect because a lot of cats are scared. You feel what I'm saying? So a lot of dudes are scared yeah, out man. Here, you know what I mean? And like, like you said, like I've been doing this like since the reason I'm really so comfortable mm. with it, like you said, like, when you converse over and over again, you mm. kind of get into a rhythm of it. Like, right. sometimes it'll come out your mouth without you even thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Because, like, I've been doing it, I've been doing it for years. Like, I remember when I was, like, super young, guys I was around, it was, like, a big brother to me. They, like, had me out there in the mall. And they, like, my first experience, they embarrassed me. They, like, literally saw me looking at a chick. Mm. I wasn't going to say nothing. They, like, 
walked me up to her and told her that I liked her and walked off <laughs> on me. She dissed the hell out of me. Like, she dissed the hell out of me. And, like, right. they did that again to me, too. And when the third time came around, I noticed, like, the third chick, she's standing there smiling. She, she waiting to see what I was going to say back. But what they were showing me was throughout each interaction was mm. each interaction was going to be different with women. Each woman was going to view me differently. Mm. So they showed me was I'm alive. I'm still well. I didn't die. She didn't stab me. Exactly. It's okay. Right, right, right. She out. You're still alive. She didn't want to talk. You're still here. Mm. She talked to you. You're still alive. You know what I'm saying? Right. So a lot of guys got to get out that mindset, man. Stop being afraid of the women. Just walk up to them, let them dish you a little bit and not give a fuck like I don't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Because a lot of cats, they, they take the shit too 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 seriously, man. When a, when a girl, uh, you know, rejects them or whatever. Like, like chicks reject me every day, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> that's what, that's and, what they don't get. And the, <laughs> and the one that I told y'all about last time, the married chick, when I mm. told y'all, I, I texted her and told her what I said. Like, because if a chick missed an appointment with me, mm. she has to make that up if she wants to see me. Right, right. So pretty much guess what she did. She declined it. Like, yo, I'm not going to pay for no hotel. Well, cool. We won't be seeing each other. Exactly. I, you know, I holler. Exactly. See how easy it was for me to, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. <to do> that? <laughs> and you ain't got to waste your time. You ain't got to do any of this shit. Because, again, look, a lot of these cats out here, and even even you got some some coaches out here and you know, certain people who they're, they have the, the, you know, and a lot of PUAs have this mentality of, yo, you, you got to get every girl you talk to and you got to do this and you got to do that to make sure she wants you. And, and I'm like, yo, you ain't got to do shit. All you need to do is do your part, understand who you are and then find the chicks who's going to freaking connect with you. That's it. Because all that extra stuff is, is just for your ego. You know what I'm saying? And so exactly. when, like, when you're doing the game and you're out here in the game and you, you, you have, you, you're you doing it through ego, that's when you really start fucking up because you, you spend way too much time on women you don't need to spend time with. You spend way too much time trying to make it work with a chick you don't need to make it work with. Where And, and a lot of times it will, it will never work. You know what I'm saying? So it's yeah, like, keep like, that shit pushing. With me, I developed, like I said before, like, and I think guys should mm-hmm. try this, like, to each his own, but me personally. Right. I'm in the mindset of I don't receive phone numbers. Mm. I give out my number only. Right, right. And the only way I can receive a woman's number, she has to text my phone, like I said before, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. or she probably going to call me on the spot or she called me later on. Yeah. And if she does call me right on the spot, trying to hurry up and put it in my phone, guess what I'm going to do? I'm not going to save it. Mm. I'm just going to still have it in my call log. So later on that day, I'm just going to go back, hit the call log and dial it or text it. Mm. And guess what I'm going to do? If she does not answer, like most guys would give them like three times. I call them three times. Me, mm. I don't know. I have a one strike program rule. Mm-hmm. If I call you once and you don't answer, you're deleted. For one, I never saved you. Your number right, is just in right, the call log. Right, exactly. If I call you once, you're deleted. The mm-hmm. only way I'm going to hear from you again, you have to call back and see what I want. Right. If I text you once, you are deleted mm-hmm. after that text message. Right. I'm not calling you twice, not texting you twice. My 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 lifestyle is moving so fast with work, other things, and just my personal time and mm-hmm. me meeting with other women. So I don't even care to even be bothered. Like I don't get paid mm-hmm. to chase you. I'm not right, the police, right. so I'm not going to call you. Figure out where you at. Figure out if you want to sleep with me. Because the only thing in my mind, mm-hmm. I know what I want. And if you don't answer my call the first time, I know I can't fuck you. This is something I'm smart enough to know. Right. So I don't spend my time on situations with people that's not going to give me what I want. Not I'm real a self-centered shit. bastard. Real I'm shit. a selfish bastard who only gives a fuck about what he wants. Mm-hmm. It sounds messed up. I'm messed up. I'll be real about it. Nah, that's, how, that's how it's supposed to be. I only care about what I want. That's how so it's supposed to be. You're not, I'm, I'm, I'm about like them hoes. They only care what they want. Mm. I'm worse than them. I only care what I want. Mm-hmm. So if her agenda is not my agenda... We have no business with each other. I don't Facts. care if you're faking, playing games, whatever. Guess what? It's not going to go far because when I identify you're not giving me what I want, you're done regardless. Facts. And you, and know, what, and you know what it is? In 24 hours. You know what it is, too? You know what it is, too? See, a lot of the stuff you're talking right now, that's... Yeah. That's when you're on another level of the game. Like, you have... That's the abundance mindset game. That's the... That's when you got extreme confidence. And I'm going to tell you why. Because right now, as you're talking, I guarantee you there's a dude... In his mind right now saying, oh, but I can't give a girl my number. She's never going to call me. That's that's what they're thinking. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> and they don't realize they don't realize that girls be calling you back. I'm, dude, I'm on that same shit. You, I'll be giving 
hella chicks my number and then chicks be just left and right hit me up and I'm like, oh, what's up? Like, like even the other day I was out at some spot, I gave this chick my number and she, you know, she texted me. She was like, hey, what's up? This so-and-so from yesterday is really good meeting you, blah, blah, blah. You understand what I'm saying? And so yeah. they'll, they'll do it. And then just like you said, it's another level of the game the, of the abundance where you say, look, if she ain't hitting me back, um, you know, I'm out. I'm good. I'm going to just move on to the next chick because you know there's more. You know you ain't got to try to make this shit work with this girl. You understand what I'm saying? All that other goofy shit. Because, again, again, a lot of times when you're trying extremely hard to, to make something work or you're running after a chick or you're doing all this other extra stuff, it's, you know, it's telling yourself that you, you're in scarcity. And on top of that, yeah. a lot of times what you got to understand is, is that when you first get a girl's number or you give her your number or whatever it is, that's the, the, the height or the, the time when she's most likely to either call you or get back to you when you call her. So the thing is, if you give a girl your number and you text her, and what happens is, or or she or you get or no, if you give her your number, she doesn't call you back. Or if let's say you get her number and you text her and she doesn't hit you back, that first time when she's supposed to hit you up or text you whatever, if she doesn't do that, that says a lot because at that moment there's still the momentum because it's new. So if the momentum is there and it's new and you still ain't and you ain't hitting me back, that means that you're not really trying to make it happen. You see what I'm saying? So exactly. that's, that's the thing. You feel me? So you know. Because I have, I have, I met some more today, right? And I can't even remember. I was flirting around. I, I gave some. Of course, I gave them my number. Mm. And one of them, it's, this was funny. Like I, this, I wasn't even really feeling feeling her. Like I just, you know, just target, right? Just for the sake of talking. But I would smash her on right. a boring day. Right. But I, I pretty much gave her my number too. Mm -hmm. And I remember I went on break and I called all of them because I have a process of elimination. I, I get, I sit around, I get my times. I be like, okay, I, this bitch called me, this bitch texted me. Right. Okay, now it's time to do my strike off thing because this is how I strike you off. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna call you, you know, what I'm saying I'm texting you, but my purpose of doing that is to see who's down. Mm -hmm. I'm doing a strike off thing. I'm, I'm, I'm pro probably somewhat like how them hoes is. They look for shit to get rid of you for. Right. I slick do that too. I slick do that shit too. Right. So my purpose is to call you to see who's going to answer, who's not. Mm -hmm. So I called. Now she didn't answer. I deleted everybody's number, but I, I cut my phone back on and I, I just kind of remember the conversation. So this is how I was able to remember it was her. Mm -hmm. I know that she's the only one that had called me back. I said, okay. Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, I, I'll get back with her tomorrow, and I, you know, I, I'm going to see what's going on because she actually called me back, mm -hmm. you know. Right. So, you know, that, that's, that's how I do that. Like I said, I'm about as selfish as they are. I'm probably a little bit more selfish than they are. So, mm -hmm. I, they think they don't give a damn. I really don't give a fuck. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I cannot, like, and I've been like this before, right? I've been in a situation where I literally had no females to talk to over the phone mm -hmm. and still was selfish and still didn't give a damn. Still exactly. only gave you one call exactly. and didn't call you no more past once and still didn't give a damn. Exactly. And that and that's how you're really supposed to be because a lot of these dudes, again, the reason why they keep going after this girl again and again is because they're like, oh, I don't want to lose her. She's the only girl I'm talking to. I got to make this work. And it's like, no, fuck that. Like, it's better to have no chicks than to be dealing with a chick who's uncooperative or dealing with a chick who's you know, playing games and doing all that other bullshit. Because you can always re-up and find another chick and do do whatever you got to do. You see what I'm saying? So, you know. Exactly. That's what it is. Exactly, man. man. So I is, just man. want to call in and tell everybody that, man, get out the scarcity mindset. Become mm -hmm. a become a cocky bastard like me, man. Exactly. It works. Real shit. I said it's always going to work, but guess how my mind works. I don't give a fuck whether it work or whether it don't. Exactly. I'm going to get what I what I want eventually, but even if I'm not fucking, guess what? I got work. I got other shit to focus on. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to die. I'll still be alive. So, bitch, you come around when you come. Mm -hmm. You don't come. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to still meet bitches every day. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. They can play if they want to. I let their ass play by themselves in the sand. It is what it is, man. Real shit. So, Real shit. That's what I'm talking this about, bro. That's what I'm talking about, right, bro. Man. Appreciate the call, my dude. All right, All right man. Peace. That's what I'm talking about. You see, do you hear? Do you hear the confidence, people? Do you hear the swag? Do you hear the? You see what I'm saying? That's what chicks like, man. I'll be trying to tell y'all, man. It can't be coming to these chicks again, yo. You gotta understand that this is what makes them attracted to you. 
They're attracted to that presence, that attitude, that swag, that confidence. You feel what I'm saying? I gotta understand that, man. I'm telling you. That's that shit. That is that shit. So, you know. So, you know, that's, that's what you gotta do, man. You got to make sure that you are feeling you first. That's how them chicks going to, you know, want to wanna jump on the team. You feel me? But yeah, make sure you guys get tickets to the Truth About the Game seminar. That shit going to be crazy. We we'll be dropping some crazy shit on there, man. Dropping some crazy, crazy shit, and make sure you guys join the Patreon too, because the Bad Boy shows on the Patreon are heavy, heavy. You gotta understand, heavy. Y'all missing out if y'all not on that Patreon. You feel what I'm saying? You got to make sure that you are on that Patreon, man. But yeah, that's what it is. But yeah, you know, is 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 Jarmel in the in the chat room trolling? <laughs> this dude. Uh, Louise, what up? What's going on, man? Martin, you said did Miles' son ever call up? He called up a few a few uh a few shows ago. Man. Man, man. But yeah, you guys can't be scared to give these chicks your number and tell them to call you. I want you guys to, to start doing that and so you you'll be pleasantly surprised. Because the thing is you're gonna have certain girls who ain't gonna call you, but you'll have girls who's gonna call you and be like, yo, that's what's up. You're going to be like, that's what is up. You feel me? But yeah, you got you know, you got to try that out. Try that shit out. Try that shit out and see if it works for you. Because, you know, you want to try a lot of shit in the game, man. You want to try a lot of stuff. Black man, you said, so given the number is better. I'm not saying it's better. I'm saying that. It is less work on your part. <laughs> and see, this is what you got to do, though. And you give the girl your number, you have to tell her when to call you. That makes it even more uh, efficient. So you don't want to just give her your number and say, hey, here's my number, call me. You want to say, here's my number. And you want to say, when are you free to talk? She's going to be like, oh, well, I'm free tomorrow, whatever. Or I'm free Thursday. Okay, listen, I want you to hit me up tomorrow at 6 and we'll talk. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah, so you you could you could uh you know you can do that. You can do that. You can you know give them the number, tell them to call your ass, and that that should be that. And that should have just like, it's just the best though. Like when a chick when a chick hits you up and you you just tell her yo hit me up and she hits you up, it's like that's what the fuck is up because then. You know, it's it's on at that point. It's on at that point because she's showing the interest. Because if a chick ain't interested in you, she's not going to call you. She's not going to call you. But if she does call you, it's like, okay, it's on. Let's see what's popping. But again, you got to make sure that you're... Uh, on top of your game so you don't mess that situation up. You see what I'm saying? Because you don't want the, the situation to be where she's choosing you, she's calling you, she's hitting you up, and then you start acting thirsty or acting like a simp or acting needy, and then she loses interest. You feel what I'm saying? Crazy. But yeah, what's going on in the chat room, people? What is going on? 
Night Zoom fight. He said, how do you get rid of cock blockers? Um, it depends, you know, because you have female cock blockers, you have male cock blockers. You know what I'm saying? But generally, you know, a lot of times what you want to do is if, if you have situations where the, the, there's a cock blocker, like if it's um, because if it's if it's a guy cock blocker, sometimes it's either a guy who's in the friend zone that she knows, or another guy who's trying to um, holler at her. So if it's a guy, you know, trying to cock block, a lot of times you want to remove yourself from the situation and have the girl come back, come to you. So if you notice the guy's cock blocking, you might be like, yo, you'd be like, listen, I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. Y'all two have a good time. Y'all two get to know each other. And then because he's so thirsty, she's going to be like, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? And on top of the fact that she's feeling you, she's going to be looking for you to, to come after you. You understand what I'm saying? But what you, what you don't want to do is if a guy's cock blocking, you don't want to like call him out on it and start fighting and doing a whole bunch of dumb shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like, yo, what's going on? Yo, Ricardo, what's going on, man? What's popping, bro? What's going on with you? All right, man. Hey, I got one question, man. All right. Uh, somebody in the chat room said something about chari charisma. Mm. But my, my question is, like, like the, the charisma comes from when you talking, me talking to a female, like, how, how can you um, know what I'm saying? Is, what is charisma, really? You said what? So what is charisma? Yeah. Well, the thing is, charisma a lot of times is more so like you having a certain presence, you having a um, certain uh, like authority, or 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 even like um, like there's something about you that draws people in. So it's a mixture yeah. of you being you know sort of like outgoing, you uh, having a, a a very commanding presence, and a lot of times it's. It's really based off of the person, the other person's, um, what am I trying to say? It's based off the other person's, like, perception of you. Meaning that yeah. you can be charismatic or you can, uh, um, uh, somebody might say, oh, you know, Ronnie has charisma. And then another person might see you and say, Ronnie is annoying. You feel what I'm saying? But you're doing the same shit. But right. one person thinks you're charismatic. One person thinks you're annoying as fuck. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, it all depends on the person. But just in general, you know, you're going to have some people where they, a, a lot of people will see you as charismatic because of how you, you know, uh, put yourself together and how you present yourself. So it's kind of, it's kind of a hard thing to explain because it's sort of just like an energy you put out um, that whoever is receiving it sees you as that type of person, sees you as that interesting um, you know, type of guy or person that they want to be around that draws people into you. You feel what I'm saying? So it's more so a lot right. of times to have that charisma generally is you um, just sort of being sure of yourself, you being comfortable with yourself, you, uh, you know, uh, being, yeah, being confident. Exactly. Like all those different things that bring out that charismatic um, energy. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah. That's yeah, because really the reason is. I be calling up and asking these questions because right. some people who who listen to your show maybe mm -hmm. they could get a better understanding if they want to know the same type of questions. You understand? Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. Nah, real talk. I feel you. I feel you. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's how you do it, man. But yeah, you just gotta just go out there, uh, do your thing, be comfortable with yourself, and then you you will seem charismatic to a lot of different people. You know what I'm saying? Even when you got confidence to back up your words when you're talking. Oh yeah, yeah, that, and that and that that goes along with it too. You feel what I'm saying? Like right. that goes along with the whole thing. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah, man. But yeah, man, I appreciate the call, my dude. All right. All right. All right, my holiday. Peace. All right. That's my dude, Ronnie, over there. Ah oh, man. So what is up, people? What is going on, man? It's almost one o'clock in the morning. I gotta. Get shit ready for tomorrow. So listen, guys, I'm going to do another show, what, Monday maybe? Monday or Wednesday. Do another show Monday or Wednesday. Make sure you guys get the Jiggy Riggy, uh, you know, hoodies. The jig is up. Make sure you guys go to Jiggy, 
www.riggycode.com. Click that link below. You feel me? Also, make sure you guys get How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day, the ebook, hard copy, or audiobook. And remember, if you get this copy, the hard copy, you're going to get an autographed copy. So I'm going to open it and I'm going to autograph it right here. You feel what I'm saying? So you guys can get this book. This book is off the goddamn chain. You feel what I'm saying? This shit is hot. So I need all of you guys to get a copy of that book. You feel me? And also, make sure you guys get tickets to the Truth About the Game seminar. Okay? Make sure you guys get tickets to that. Um, also... Make sure you check out all the other seminars I got on, on MrLocario.com because I have How to Pick Up and Date Multiple Women seminar, which you can get at MrLocario.com. You can get Reclaim the Game New Dating Rules for Men seminar. You can get the Manhood and the Game seminar. And you can also get the Bad Boy seminar. So those are like four seminars on there right now that you can check out. You feel me? So you know. David Mason, what does the, the cow stand for? I don't even know. I don't even know what the cow stands for, actually. I need to I need to holler at uh <laughs> the dude and um you know and, and ask him. Man. But um but yeah, I appreciate all of you guys tuning in and all that good stuff. Let me uh shout out to the people in the room. We had David May in the building. We had uh, Jarnell Taylor, uh, Khalil, Martin, 79934, David May, I already said him, Christopher Lopez, AQI, VP Films, Moving in Silence, Cleotha Moss, who else we had up in here, uh, G. Clef Productions, L. Hall was in the place. Uh, Night Zoom Flights, Paul and Jean, John Doe, who else was up in the building? Black Man was here, Louise Hernandez, shout out to you, you understand? Thanks for uh, coming through, uh, Spody Wi-Fi, <laughs> Young Geezer in the building, Sean Cal Castell, but yeah, I appreciate everybody that was come, you know, came through. And I will see you guys again either Monday or Wednesday, but definitely Friday. You know, we always do the joints Friday. Make sure you guys get tickets to the Bad Boy seminar. And I will holler at you later. You guys have a good night. Remember the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone.